Hi there, this is Shubham Mittal. Today I am going to show you how to perform some basic operations on images using OpenCV Python. For that I will be using Jupyter Notebook. So let's quickly open the Jupyter Notebook. I have op opened the command prompt. And I will be typing Jupyter Notebook and then enter. It will open up the Jupyter Notebook. So I am navigating to the desktop. Uh, then I am having a folder named Python Programs. Then open CG Tutorials. I have made a new folder there. Uh, this is having a python notebook which i had worked an hour ago and uh, an image so let's quickly open a new notebook uh, this is these are the options you may be getting uh, you probably won't be getting all these three because if you uh, don't have anaconda installed but you will definitely get any of this python default or conda root so let's let me click on this python default okay this notebook has opened now let's name this notebook as basic image operations okay it's basic image operations before going into programming i'll just quickly brief you about the jupyter notebook jupyter notebook is a web-based platform for typing your python programs it is quite friendly actually i've been using it since six months and i'm very happy with it uh, and uh, uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, the programs i'll be telling here will be compatible with opencv 3.0 and above uh, so let's quickly start programming uh, first of all the most important thing we have to import computer vision library open cv library import cv2 uh, uh, i can check the version also i am having of cv2 so let's check the version okay I am having version 3.1.0 so today we will be learning about the basic operations on images uh, first of all we will need to uh, acquire an image uh, maybe we can read an image uh, this is the image basketball.jpg so let's read an image img image is equal to cv dot cv2 dot img uh, the name of the image is basketball dot jpg and uh, we will read it as unchanged it is a colored image so it will be read as a colored image only okay let me quickly show you the image what is this image this is an image uh, we are going to read so we can display it also uh, let's make a window then show it here name of the window and the image uh, after showing you have to wait for the user to press enter or any key and if the user enters something 
destroy all windows it basically closes the image window okay uh, so this is a cell I have executed a line of code and I am just running this cell run cell so I have run this cell then next 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 and next so this is the image now okay now we will check some properties of the image let's first check the shape of the image what is the dimensions of the matrix representing the image so we will print image dot shape let's execute it execute this cell of code using shift enter and it says 626 rows 780 columns and 3 is the height of the image depth of the image that is it is having three channels so you can check also check the resolution of the image that is the number of pixels in the image using the image dot size so it gives us the size of the image this is having 1464840 pixels and what is the data type of each pixel print image dot d type you can find out like this so this is unsigned integer 8 bit 8 bit integer that is a character value it ranges from 0 to 255 the ranges from 0 to 255 255 is the max intensity So by seeing the image dot shape output we can find out that it is a three dimensional matrix that is it is a RGB image. So RGB image consisting of red, green and blue channels but it should be noted that in OpenCV the order of planes is blue then green then red what i mean by this is suppose you have to find the blue channel plane so the blue channel plane is located at the zeroth index so let let's quickly find the planes or in the image uh, we will use uh, the plane name as b b is equal to image colon comma colon comma zero zeroth plane is equal to blue then green channel is equal to image index one channel r is equal to that is the red channel is equal to image it is second channel oh, okay we can quickly display the blue channel image uh, let's name the window as blue give to dot I am show blue B cv2 dot weight key 0 cv2 dot destroy all windows so this is the blue channel image we are having okay okay now see how to access 
any pixel value in the image let's take an object name pixel val and let's say we want to find the pixel value at the row numbered as 25th column as 46th and in the green channel that is at index 1 so this is this value will be stored in the pixel well so let's print this pixel value okay so the pixel value at the 25th row and the 46th column in the green channel is 133 so it is pretty much easy to find any pixel value we can also change that pixel value let's say you want to change a pixel value at the location fourth row and fifth column in the blue channel to be 26 well, let's say uh, in the same location of the pixel well we want to change this pixel value to 200 this is a pretty much easy assignment and now if I'll execute this code block again we will see the value as 200 so we have we can access the value as well as change the value modify the pixel value modify the pixel value okay now I will tell you how to access the ROI in an image let's say we have this image and we want to access the left hand side upper corner in the form of a square let's say I want to make this as a black image I want to create a black block here so what I will do is I will simply use the indexing operation here image from row 0 to 50 and column 0 to 50 this will be a square in all the channels make it to 0 we will assign it as 0 ok press shift and enter now if I will display this image this will be a new image so this is having a black block so what it is doing is that it makes all the pixel values from column 0, 0 to 50 and row 0 to 50 equal to 0 for all channels okay that's it for the basic image operations uh, thanks for watching my video and please subscribe if you liked it thank you